Hello everybody, this is Ross Beaker from Control My Nikon and welcome to the Using Flash tutorial. Control My Nikon allows you to use the built-in Nikon Flash. So let's give this a try. I'm just going to connect to the camera and on the first tab here in the exposure tab there's an area here called internal flash. It's all grayed out right now but if I flip the flash up on the camera just by pressing that little button on the side of the flash on the camera itself, it pops up and then the internal flash settings become enabled. Now there's three modes that you can use here. You could use a command mode, the TTL, and the manual mode. The repeating flash, although it's listed here, is not supported on this version of Control My Nikon. So in commander mode, you can set the built-in flash level and you could turn the built-in flash completely off but make it so it only sends a signal to group A and group B to uh, fire remote flashes. So uh, to do that you just put the double dash here otherwise you could tell it to fire in TTL. You can also set the compensation. If you set it in manual you set it as stops. If you go to TTL mode, you set the compensation here, but you can't set it in individual groups. And if you go manual, you set it here. And again, no groups. Let's go back to commander mode here for a moment. This is really just setting your built-in flash to command remote flashes using Nikon CLS. If you were to take something like an SB800 or an SB900 and mount it onto the hot shoe of your camera, making any changes here does not affect that flash. You're not actually configuring that flash sitting on top of your camera. You're only configuring a built-in flash. So if you put an 800 or a 900 in the hot shoe, you're going to have to use the on-flash menu and LCD display to set that up. That's it. That's how you set up Flash in Control My Nikon. Happy tethering.